How many of the tables in your data warehouse have location information in them? Perhaps you record the latitude and longitude of your vehicles or packages over time. Or maybe you have the addresses of your customers and suppliers. Maybe you recorded customer transactions and you could join it against another table that has store locations. Not only is location information very common, many business decisions revolve around location. Who to send out coupons to? Whether the package will reach on time? Therefore, geospatial analysis is quite common in data analytics. 9% of .SQL files in GitHub carry out spatial queries. That's why I'm happy to show you a new feature that makes analyzing and visualizing geospatial data in BigQuery very easy and highly performant. GHCN Daily is a public data set of weather data, and the stations table contains latitude and longitude columns. In another table, I have information about postal codes used by the United States Postal Service. There are two columns in this table that are of interest here. The WKT, or well-known text, is a format for representing geographies. In this case, it is a polygon. The postal code, called the zip code, is the second column that we're interested in. So let's run a query that finds all the weather stations within 10 kilometers of a zip code. I'm pulling the zip code polygon and the weather station location, and then in my where clause, I'm filtering using st underscore d within, distance within. I'm checking whether the station's latitude and longitude, which form a geographic point, whether that point is within 10 kilometers of the zip code polygon. And if you look at the results, there are two stations that are inside the polygon itself, so the distance is zero. And there are 28 total stations within 10 kilometers of the zip code. This is great, but if you have spatial data, you want to visualize it. You want to visualize it on a map. The BigQuery GeoViz is a convenient way to do this. So here, I have the same query in the GeoViz. I can select the geometry column and then click Run to get a map of the weather stations. I can also style the points based on some other column in the data. Here's another query that shows off the ability to style things in the map. This time, I'm joining the census dataset of population with zip code boundaries. Let's make the polygon column, the WKT column, the geography, and change the colors and opacity of the polygons based on population. As you can see, BigQuery GIS provides a convenient, powerful way to incorporate spatial information into your decision making, even as your datasets grow into the petabytes.